Hey guys and girls and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Man of the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode we uh, returned to Rogueport and we went on a few little errands and um, in between uh, the last episode and now I've actually picked up a few badges as well. I think I got the um, the quick change badge and the um, the uh, pretty lucky badge. So in this episode now we're going to place the next crystal star and find out our next destination. Beautiful little red star. And we've got Vivian just sort of standing in the middle of the whole thing. Somewhat disrespectful, but eh, she's a ghost. It's a spirit sort of thing, so it doesn't matter. And there's our fourth star, getting ready to reveal the location of the fifth star. So let's get going. Come on, I'm getting impatient. Where is the next location? Patient young Jedi. Hmm. Here we go, here we go, here we go! It appears it's on a small island with palm trees and a great big lump of rock. <gasps> the blue star is on Gibraltar! But I don't think Gibraltar has any palm trees. I'm pretty sure about that, I could be wrong. Does anybody living in Gibraltar or have been to Gibraltar know if Gibraltar has palm trees? Let me know. <laughs> I do know that it has a great big massive lump of rock. Everybody knows that. The rock of Gibraltar, after all. Oh, yeah. oh yes! Well, my first is a little dry, so I'm not going to be doing any voice acting for um, the professor, so I'll just let it go by um, unspoken. Certainly was. Indeed. Absolutely. Hmm, what have you uncovered then? That that's what I just asked Vivian. How did you know? You're listening, aren't you? Yes, that's what it is. Oh god, here we go, long stories. <coughs> yes. Yes, I I'm listening as well, yes. And he's talking to you guys as well, so you guys are better listen as well. Don't worry, Vivian, he's talking to the fourth wall. He's butt-fucking it somewhat. It all sounds rather sil uh, similar to the Seven Chaos Emeralds, doesn't it? Bad luck, eh? What, what? So it's a lose-lose situation. Collect the crystal stars, the doors open. They collect the crystal stars, the doors open. <laughs> Keyhole key. Uh, I begin to wonder if they actually meant to spell key like that or if they meant to spell key as in quay, but it wouldn't make consistent sense, both letters beginning with K. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's all just, you know, child's play, uh, tall stories and what have you. Right, let's see what we've got in the bin. Atomic boot. And that's it. Uh, what did you say again? 
ask around the harbour about Keyhole Key. Okie dokie, let's go to the harbour. But before we go to the harbour, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ourselves powered up, because we can. Right, how many star points have I actually got? Uh, not star points, shine sprites. We have seven, so... Yeah, should be able to upgrade, no worries. Well, I want to upgrade Herbert. How much does it cost to upgrade a, a thing? I can't remember. Ah, oh, three, thank you. So I can upgrade Herbert, and I can upgrade Vivian. Shazubi! There we go. <laughs> Said that a bit too early. We're going to take you on an adventure of mystery in space. I don't actually remember how the beginning of uh, The Mighty Boosh goes, so... I've only seen Series 2, and that was the whole of it once, so... It's an alright show. I didn't quite get into it as much as I probably hoped I would, but... On the whole, I did like how different it was, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm all about, you know, something that takes... Uh, the usual formula of comedy, probably, uh, sort of mixes up a bit. So, you know, I can kind of appreciate where the mighty Boosh was going. And Vivian's just stood there like, Ooh, what's going on? What's going on? And she, she feels all powered up. Right, what abilities have those two got now? Vivian now has Fiery Jinx. Attack all foes with flames that set them on fire. Herbert has mini. I do like the mini eggs, but if I remember rightly, you have to um, you have to be accurate with your throwing on that one. So, oh, as accurate as possible. Right, let's head over to the harbour and see what we can find out when the game eventually loads. That's the only thing I probably I don't. Well, I'd say that I really don't like it. But why is he standing out there? I want to know why he's standing there. He's standing there for a reason. This is my bottle shop someday, I like tapping on oh, okay. I could have sworn he was actually stood there for a reason, you know. I remember him standing there before because we had to order the contact lens, but... Oh, well, never mind. I guess he's just been booted out. Oh, you! Get out of my shop! Bring in the punters! And he's not there yet, so that doesn't matter. Ah, that's alright. Uh, let's ask around the harbour. Oh, you know what? I probably can't... I could probably just skip this and just go straight to the objective. But basically, we need a ship in order to get to Keyhole Key. And there's only one fella in this town that we could ask about for a ship. And that's this fella right here. If we can just get his attention. Right, there we go. Flavio. The richest man in Rogueport. Well, that probably isn't very hard. <laughs> Money gives you wealth and freedom, and it's that wealth and freedom which can lead to happiness. Hmm. Let's see. Probably thrills. <laughs> oh yeah, nothing like it. Riveting. <laughs> Fills, spills, and automobiles. Yeah, you could be onto something there. Romance, thrills, emotion, and even money. Because everybody loves money. Keyhole key, you say? This is very interesting. We happen to be going to keyhole key as well. Say, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm not actually paying attention to anything he's saying, so... Did you say all the horrors make him turn into Tingle? Bloop! Bloop! Bloomboo! Or something like that. I can't exactly remember how Tingle... What Tingle says when he uh, deciphers the maps. Or whatever he does for that reason. Trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor! Oh, oh. Deedly do. So if you and I can like, if we can, if we if we can like team together, we can have this treasure for ourselves. Split it between the two of us. Go off and live in the life of luxury. No, no, no. You don't want to live in the life of luxury. Fine, suits so me. Deedly do. 
You can't have my map, but I will show you. Not exactly. No. -uh. It's, 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 you do <laughs> I, I realise it probably wasn't implemented at the time, but it's a shame that when Mario speaks in um, the Paper Mario series, he doesn't do what he does in Mario, uh, Mario Luigi, and she goes, <laughs> or something like that, you know, that garbled Italian nonsense. And I don't mean that Italian is garbled nonsense, he literally does come out, some. he literally just, you know, comes out with garbled nonsense that sound that has a slight Italian um, uh, accent to it, so don't get offended. <laughs> I have no ship. Foolish, foolish man. I shall have a ship ready by daytime. Nope, that's not right. Or is it by uh, by nightfall or something? He done off waffle on, doesn't he? Hey, Luigi. <laughs> right, I'm going to assume he's got the ship ready already, so I think we can head straight back down to the um, the harbour. There we go. Our ship, our ship. Hello. Yes, it is I. Hmm, what is this problem? Well, yes, it is a very nice ship. The SS Narcissus, yes. <laughs> Seriously, is there anything more, like, egotistical than naming something after yourself? Will you just shut up and <laughs> get to the goddamn point? I do know, yes. <laughs> Navigator, eh? I'm talking not I'm assuming you're not talking about the video game review and navigator. Yes, Bob on Buddy, Papa Patch. Hmm. Admiral Bobbery indeed. I'd like to see a ship bow. That would be pretty good. It just sort of stands up from um, from the hull. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong. And it sort of like just bends forward and goes <laughs> like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I don't mind. Yeah, it's fine with me. Yeah, I'm on board. Good plan. Sure thing. Not a problem. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I get a say in this. No, no. <laughs> Alright guys, we need to find Admiral Bobbery, and I know exactly where to find him, because we bursted in on his house a little earlier. So if we just make our way up there now, we should be just fine. Just as well, we bursted into his house earlier. Well, to be fair, he, he, he can't, was kind of annoyed at us that we bursted into his house, so um, yes. He's not going to be too pleased that we would just come barging in and like... Asking him to do all this for us. He's like, You come into my house and you ask these things for me, I'm gonna smack you on the nose. Hello, Mr. Bobbery. Uh, can we ask you something? Oh, whatever. Hmm. Not quite sure what the stipulation is for this. Um, I think we actually have to go to the inn and sort of ask around. We can't just go straight to his house. I think I made that mistake in my before in my last playthrough of this because I don't play this game like super regularly, so I do forget like one or two items. Maybe we ask the barman. I think if I remember rightly. Right, okay. Now that we've done that, we should be able to go back and have a hand asking for um, 
ask Admiral Bobbery for his for his help. Come on, Admiral Bobbery, you know you want to help us. There's treasure involved, riches, things you could possibly dream of. Go on. Liar! <laughs> Poppycock, I tell you. Look at me. I'm writing profanity on the wall. Wall asylable. Blast! <laughs> Bloody hell, we've been going for a while, haven't we, guys? Right. Um, I think we'll just jump to the end of this conversation and then I'll call it a video. <laughs> we need you. We want you. We must have you. I kind of made Vivian sound perverted then, didn't I? Hmm. Alright guys, I think uh, we'll put an end to the video here, because it's been uh, about 15 minutes or so, give or take. So uh, yeah, uh, until next time guys, uh, thanks for watching and take care of yourselves.